Hello, 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 and welcome to Storytime with a Grown Woman Swag, and the W is silent. Thank you in advance from the intro, and y'all, we got to get right into this. So yeah, guys, Jeezy is insisting that he did not cheat on Jenny Mai. Now, if you don't know what's going on, the two are divorcing, and I'll be honest with you guys, I thought that it was a publicity stunt because Jeezy had a lot of things going on and um, Jeannie Mai had a lot of ventures going on. So I was like, you know what, they're just trying to get some publicity for all of the things that they have going on. But, you know, things are kind of simmering down now and they're still going at it. And now it's like the claws are coming out and the gloves are coming out. They are just like going crazy. And at one time, you know, you didn't hear anything from Jeezy. At one time, you didn't hear anything from Jeannie Mai. And now, if Jeezy says something, Jeannie Mai responds on social media and vice versa. So that's a clear indication that these two are not getting along. Now, I recently reported that Jeezy was claiming that she was gatekeeping Monaco, their daughter, and he was, you know, trying to insinuate that he doesn't believe she's doing it maliciously, but I believe she's doing it maliciously. I mean, they're going hand in hand at each other. Now, Jeezy is denying this infidelity rumor because Jeannie Mai wants the courts to re-examine number eight, the number eight um, clause in Jeezy's prenup in which he allowed Jeannie Mai to put an infidelity infidelity clause in there. What? Why? I have no idea. I have no idea, especially considering how specific this clause is. The clause or number eight in the prenup, the, that particular paragraph states that there would be a significant financial penalty if someone was unfaithful in the marriage. The adulterous party would be hit with the penalty if they engaged in sexual relationships. Now, you may say sexual relationships, I don't think they cheated. I don't believe they cheated because Jesus said real men don't cheat. And that's an indication that he did not cheat. But it doesn't stop there, y'all. It said that particular clause in that number eight of Jesus prenup that Jeannie Ma put in goes way beyond the sexual relation. It's an emotional relationship. <laughs> and it's saying like, you know, if either are emotionally or suggestively sexual in communication. Like, are you serious right now? Like, who gets that freaking petty? Like, you have to be real petty to want to put something like this in a prenup. You know, and I feel like even though Gina Mai was marrying Jeezy, I feel like she had a plan. Because this is so tedious. It says, in a relationship or were emotionally or sexually suggestive in communication with a third party via forms of electronic communication, including but not limited to texting, sexting, FaceTime, and social media and direct messages. Now, truly, Gina Mai is going to have to prove this. But when it comes to that emotional part, we've all been wondering, what is that emotional part that she's that she's referring to in this? Now, Jesus could be smart and, you know, because I know he gets a lot of DMs and stuff like that from from groupies. But as long as he's not responding. But, yeah, he is denying whatever she's talking about. He said, look, I did not cheat on my wife. I did not cheat on my wife, so you can miss me with that bull crap. Now, Jeannie Mai has not specified what part of the clause that she's accusing him of, but she's putting it out there that there was some infidelity going on. And also, guys, she's trying to handle, handle this matter behind the scenes, but I think because the, the way the gloves are coming off now, 
I think Jeezy is like, F that, I'm not, I'm not giving you any money. So now she's bringing it to the forefront. So yeah, guys, like I said, this is just getting out of control. Um, they're going back and forth on social media. Although, Jesus rep said that they're not going to respond to any more questions, but they just wanted to clear the air that there was no infidelity going on. I'm curious to find out exactly what does Jeannie Mai have on him, on Jeezy, or is she just trying to manipulate him to get this money? It's come out that she has a bad attitude. She's not easy to get along with. And I believe that she's evil. Women turn evil whenever the uh, divorce is, you know, being filed. Whether they file the divorce or whether the man files for divorce, the fangs and claws comes out. It's very seldom that it's a peaceful divorce. And... Again, with Jeannie Mai's attitude and the way, you know, she's been portrayed, it's hard to get along with. Her father even left home because her mother was so hard to get along with. It's just so much with Jeannie Mai that people look past because, you know, the way she looks. But again, like I stated in prior videos, Jesus said, F that, I'm not putting up with this. And um, now we're here. So, guys, let's talk about it. What do you think Jeannie Mai has on Jeezy? And do you think he's going to give in and give her this money that she was requesting behind the scenes? Let's talk about it, guys. And as always, thank you so much for listening. If you haven't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification so you know when I upload a video. And as always, guys, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>